What's up, chicas? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video, we are going to be talking about skincare. You guys have requested a skincare video. You guys want to know how I take care of my skin. And I have mentioned before plenty of times on my Instagram. Mm. That first sip of coffee in the morning is like bomb. I have mentioned many times on Snapchat, Instagram, when you guys ask me about my skincare routine, I say, listen, by the time I put my kids to bed, I literally just want to be in my bed and pass out and I really don't have time to do a 30 step skincare. And in the mornings when I wake up and I have to do stuff, I don't have the time to again do these 30 steps. So I normally just do very, very easy, straight to the point, skincare and that is what this video is going to be about it's going to be about very few products that I use um, to keep my skin um, looking fresh looking um, healthy if you guys want to see what my skincare routine is like steps or what products I use all you have to do is grab that coffee and come join me all right guys so first off my skin it's a very dry sensitive skin even when I'm washing my face, I tend to get very red once I finish. Like anything I do to my face, it just gets really, really red. And um, it just gets really irritated very easily. So I have to be very careful with the products that I use. As a uh, beauty blogger, I get sent out tons of skincare products. And I'm very skeptical and very picky with the ones that I do try. Um, so those two combinations are very like, I would say hard to um, balance because you can find a moisturizer that's gonna hydrate my skin but it's gonna cause any harm to my skin and irritate it so it's very bad combination and I really hate it but that's what God gave me with and I have to deal with it <laughs> this is just pretty much easy I'm just gonna th talk you through the products and some of them I will be applying them on camera so you guys can see so first off in the at night um, when I have a full face of makeup this is what I do to remove my makeup I like to use um, the Pacifica the Pacifica Coconut um, Mincellar Water, like this thing here guys, is no joke. Uh, when I have like a full face, like I did my brows really dark and I did my eyes with um, like lots of mascara or lashes. I like to first uh, only remove my eye makeup with these two items right here. I just use the Avino Positively Radiant Brightening Daily Scrub. This is what I've been using lately to wash my face. with the Avino and I get all of my face then I start moving on with everything else and that will be the next step will be the glow tonic to go exfoliating toner pads these are from pixie this is what the little jar looks like and um they're just cleansing pads and what I like to do is I like to after I do the exfoliating and all that you guys are going to see how bad my skin is gonna get after I apply this because my skin is very sensitive so I just like to t pretty much use this all over my skin my face and you can still see I washed my face last night and you can still see I have some some leftover of makeup this is the reason why I like to use this pad you see how red I start getting it's not that I'm allergic to it it's just that I just how my skin is so after that if my face is like really acting up and I know that I have to record and I know I have to have my skin looking good or if it's that time of the week we are going to be doing some facial masks my absolute favorite right now are the BioBell facial masks I use their primer ones I use their hydrating one and they are just amazing but we're going to be using for this video so you guys can see we're going to be using this uh, mask which is the purified and Purifies and refines pores, um, instant radiance for hashtag glam. So we're going to be using this mask right here. And this one says that you need to put it onto clean, dry skin for 15 minutes. So we're gonna do this uh, for 15 minutes. Oh, it's a black mask. Ugh. I love these masks because they come packed. Don't you come crawling back the 
masks are way bigger than my face but I just make it work because I have a tiny tiny face and these masks are created for people that are normal we're going to leave this on for 15 minutes and um, we will sh we will come back so we are going to remove this hydrogel mask oh my god so sad because it still has a lot of product in there so let's rinse it off when I have and this is, this is gonna sound totally weird to you guys but listen listen you guys know the Mario Badescu I think I'm saying it right the drying lotion this thing is just like it this is the it cosmetics uh, bye bye uh, breakouts this is a full coverage treatment concealer what I like to do at night though or unless I'm also of course I apply under my makeup but what I like to do at night though I'm going to bed um, I like to apply this on my breakouts I actually have one breakout here I have one here and I have one here everything else is just redness for my face and this automatically dries these things up so I just apply a little bit there a little bit on my breakouts just like that this is when I'm going to bed and I just pretty much leave it on all night and in the morning of course I Go ahead and remove it when I wash my face. I will get I will get to you on my morning's routine. So at night, I like to apply that on my spot. It has a drying um, ingredient on it, so it'll dry off my uh, breakouts while else I sleep. So I have two different moisturizers for two different costs. Um, these both are my holy girl moisturizers right now. Well, this one's my holy girl. This one I'm I am trying at the moment and I've been obsessed with it. They're both from It Cosmetics. This one is It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream, the Transforming Moisturizing Super Cream. I know you guys seen it here on YouTube. I know you guys seen it on Instagram. I don't know what's going on with my camera. Um, it takes forever to focus lately. I don't know why. All right, so you guys seen it here. This is pretty much the moisturizing I am using and I absolutely love it. My skin is absolutely loving it. But when I have a lot of redness on my face, I like to use the Bye Bye Redness for redness and sensitive skin. It is actually, um, um, they actually have a powder also for people who have redness um, when it's more intense, like the rosacea, rosa uh, hopefully I'm saying it right. This is going to work great for you because it works amazing for me. I just put a little bit, not a lot, where my red areas are at and mostly are here on my cheek. That is pretty much where I tend to get mostly red, the bridge of my nose and my forehead. Well, let's just say the whole face. And then for the eyes, I am currently... And then for the eyes, I am using the Confidence in a Cream um, for the eyes. So it's just like this one for the face, but for the eye. I just think they're so cute. It's like mom and daddy. Mom and daddy. <laughs> it's like mom and son. It's like so cute. Mom and daughter in this case. They're just so cute. But this one is for the face and this one is for the eyes. So after I apply that red one, I go in with this one and I just go to town on my eyes. So then after I apply that one, and of course my face is all about hydration, I go in and apply the um, Confidence in a Cream. This one, I only apply when my face is really acting up and I have a lot of red spots. That is normally when I apply that one. So normally I'm applying this one. brightness because we're all about glow and we're all about brightening and stuff this is like my holy grail serum right here this is a pixie overnight glow serum so I like to apply this at night because of course it says overnight oh my god this thing guys this is no joke I absolutely love it I just apply one drop on my 
forehead and drops on each side of my cheek. Alright guys, and to finish everything on my face before I go to bed, I like to use the Pixi Nourishing Lip Polish just to make sure that my lips are hydrated while I sleep. I like about this thing is that I'm going to bring it closer to you guys so you guys can see it. Do you see those little bristles? They feel like, they feel like a brush. And you applying the lip balm, it actually is um, massaging your lips and it sort of feels like they are just look like plummy. I don't know if you guys can see it. There we go. I'm going to read you what it says real quick so you guys know. It says, this looks lip exfoliator renews and smoothes lip. So it gently buffs into lips with applicator, leaving on a healing and soothing treatment. Favorite um, skincare brands right now is this one that I'm using, BioBell for face masks. Um, for creams, I'm using it cosmetics. I absolutely love it. I used to use a lot of um, uh, Beauty H2O, which they are great also, but I ran out of those and I've been using a lot of Pixie and a lot of it cosmetics and Pacifica. They're just amazing. They're just I work great on my skin. So this is all I do before I go to bed and then I just go to bed and try to get my beauty sleep. Um, it's really hard to do when you have your husband next to you that snores like a pig. <laughs> Don't tell him I told you. <laughs> Alright guys, so for daytime, all I do is pretty much wash my face with the same um, with the same Positively Radiant um, face wash. That's what I like to do first. And after I wash my face, I just go ahead and jump into my creams, which pretty much are going to be my confidence in a cream. This one, confidence in a cream for moisturizing. The Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream, which this one is brightens and deep puffs because I need to deep puffs these bad babies in the morning. Now, for the dark under eyes, guys, honestly speaking, this is hereditary. Hopefully I said it right. <laughs> this is heredi hereditary. Ah. My mom has them really bad. Um, I came from being an asthmatic child, having asthma and having allergies. And this here gets really, really, really um, like deep and really dark. Um, because I'm a mom of two, I have sleep deprivation, depra depression, depression. <laughs> I barely get any rest, so that has to do with that too. And now I'm trying to get back into the hydration and all that. So for my dark under eyes, I have actually just pretty much gave up on trying to have them very light just because it comes from my family it's just it's just there I can't do nothing thank God to concealer <laughs> back into the whole skincare um yeah it's great to put lotions it's great to do all this watch out for wrinkles watch out for all that and it's totally normal totally okay but please guys I can't stress it enough great skin comes from within watch out what you eat um Always drink plenty of fluid, plenty of water that is gonna help with the hydration of your skin. Again, this video was for people who have like maybe dry sensitive skin because I apply a lot of moisturizer and a lot of um, like glow and stuff like that. So um, I don't know if I work for you, but um, Dermae has for everything. Pixie Beauty has amazing uh, things that you can grab. It Cosmetics, I think I've seen mostly um, like hydration and moisturizing and whatnot. But again, just because you're oily doesn't mean you cannot use a moisturizer. Just use a mattifying moisturizer. That's it, guys. Um, yeah, I really hope you guys liked this video. You guys were requesting it. I'm like, Francis, let me see what you use on your face. And I just gave you a bare face video. Like, I cannot believe I just put my naked ass face on YouTube. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm going to need a lot of coffee after this. So, guys, if you really like this video, don't forget to give this a video a big old thumbs up. Así unos pulgaritos para arriba. Hello. And let me know what your skin type is on the bottom. If you have any skincare questions, I'll be more than happy to try to answer them as far as I can for you guys. And um, let me know which products are like your top holy grail. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for sticking till the end. Muchas besos. I'll see you ladies on my following video. Bye.